Let's address the real elephant in the room. Holy shit, is that a fucking elephant? Nobody likes slow web apps. There is a direct correlation between the first meaningful paint of your app and potential users ditching your slow site faster than The Last of Us fans ditch the train wreck that is season 2. I'm gonna be a dad. After all, major front-end frameworks are reinventing themselves via rendering strategies for a reason. And the problem is really straightforward. We are moving too much data over the wire. Browsers have to download tens of kilobytes of JavaScript on top of the actual content they want to access. And, while the problem of bloated JS frameworks was partially solved in recent years thanks to streaming SSR, the rise of the island's architecture, and innovations like resumability, there's still one massive bottleneck nobody wants to talk about, the actual data. We've spent years shaving milliseconds of hydration times and obsessing over build tooling, but when it comes to data, we either send all the content at once in one big blocking chunk, or we add overhead and complexity by splitting everything into dozens of separate API calls that your frontend has to juggle. But, in a recent blog post, Dan Abramov suggests an alternative that's simple and brilliant at the same time. What if, instead of shipping JSON data top to bottom like a glorified CSV dump, we sent it breadth first? Start with the structure, the skeleton, and then stream in the actual content as it becomes available. He calls this progressive JSON, and it's influenced by how JPEGs load on slow internet, where images first appear blurry, then they gradually get sharper. Users get something fast, then more details over time. It's not perfect, but it's way better than looking at a blank box for 3 seconds. Progressive JSON applies that same logic to data. Instead of waiting for the backend to finish assembling the entire object tree, you send placeholders first and stream in the actual values as they're ready. So, in practice, instead of sending this whole blob of JSON at once, you would start by sending the skeleton, followed by the actual values. So, in this example, even though the comments haven't even shown up yet, we already have enough to render 80% of the page. The app feels responsive not because the data is faster, but because it's delivered smarter. And the best part is, this isn't theoretical since React server components already do this to stream UI. Missing pieces are promises, suspense catches the gaps, the server just fires off chunks as they're ready, and the client stitches everything together in real time. But the beauty of progressive JSON is that it's not tied to React. You could use this in any framework, any front-end, or any client that can track a few promises and isn't allergic to partial data. The real win is architectural since devs don't have to choose between everything up front and split everything into micro-requests, then deal with the chaos. We can keep the mental model clean and get performance as a bonus. If you like this breakdown, you might find some of my other videos interesting as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.